Hello appraisers, in this video we're going to be going over the basics of dragging and dropping. So first we'll start out with the basics of reordering your grid. So if, if I want to change the order, I can just click on comp 1 for example. So I left click on that, drag the comp wherever I want it to be. You can hold it over to the right and it will scroll all the way back to the end of your grid. And then wherever the space appears, that's where it's going to drop. So I'm going to put it right there. So you just left let go of your mouse button and it will pop it in right there. Uh, you can do that with any of the comps in any order, however you want to do it. And then the next thing I want to show you is you can also drag these comps up to these tabs up here. So let's say, for example, if I scroll to the end of my grid, I have these two listings. And let's say my client wants an REO addenda with the listings put in there. So I'm going to left click and drag that up to REO listings. Same with this one. And let's just go ahead and throw this one in as well, even though it's not a listing. And then if I click on REO listings, you can see I'm in that tab, and these are the three listings I just put in there. You can see it fill it out in the proper format. I'll also show you in another video how you can change this to the REO quantitative addenda instead of the standard REO listings addenda. And if you made a mistake and you actually meant to make these your rentals, not your REO listings, all you got to do is drag them up to rentals. I think you get the idea of how that works. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to make your a property your subject property. So let's say I don't have that subject property there. I can just click remove to get rid of it. And now I can take any property I'd like. So let's say I want comp seven to be my subject property. I just left click it, drag it up to here where it says subject. And now I've made that my subject property. Just like I just showed you, I can click remove to get rid of it and make it so that's not my subject property. And now Spark is going to load into my actual report this property as the subject property and all the associated information. OK, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is how to delete a comp. So let's go to the end of the grid here. Let's say I don't want comp 7 and 8 in here. I just left click, drag it up to delete. Same with this one. And that's it. Those are now gone, and we have, we're left with six comps in the grid. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.